Can we can we work this out? That's what I'm gonna do. Excuse me? No, I'm just You look hot. Uh Vanessa, put your shirt on, please. Alcohol. It is a person's best friend and the biggest enemy at the same time. If you're wondering why your bro is sitting next to you and he is going for a smooch and he expresses his feelings for you, or you see your friend uh, fucking crying at the corner and just saying, I loved her. It is because the magic of alcohol where all of your thoughts come true. Especially when you over drink, you're most likely going to end up embarrassing yourself like this woman did in front of the whole police station. Not only that, she also embarrassed herself in front of millions and millions of people watching and the worst part is this is the beauty of internet it is going to stay there forever because guess what this whole thing happened in 28th of november 2023 and it just surfaced the internet and went viral for the second time no matter how many times she's gonna sue people to take this video down it is forever going to go in history books as the most embarrassing dui arrest ever <laughs> No, what are you guys, what are you guys doing here? No, no. I live, I live right here. Don't do this to me. No, I live right here. I'm not gonna drive anywhere. I'm just trying to get the f Okay. Um, just, you know, you gotta. I'm sorry? No! Not only one minute in, the friend already snitched. She's drunk as hell. All the drunk conversations they had where they said they are there, each other's ride or die, just went out the window the second they were put on a spot. Also, what was he thinking telling the officer that she's drunk as hell and, you know, probably I'm drunk as hell? Did he think by saying that that the officer is going to be like, oh, cool, I've been waiting to party with someone tonight, drops his badge and his fucking handcuffs and starts like partying with them? I will bet my right leg that the night before he probably watched the movie Let's Be Cops and he was like, oh, I wish I would meet like a cool cop like this and, you know, get drunk and he's going to get drunk with us and we're going to shoot the guns in the air. I live here and I've asked him. Hey, can we just be okay? And I'm so cold. I'm so cold. So, so I, 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 I don't. I, I know you are, okay. but I'm so cold. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't All right, Vanessa, what, listen, how much have you had to drink today? Nothing. I can clearly smell it. No, you can't. So how much have you had a drink tonight? I, I, I did can, it. I can I smell mean, you, you And saw clearly it? your friend said that you were drunk. Even if you ask a child, a child is going to know that she is drunk. But she is so in denial, she thinks she's slick with it. And she can get away with it. If I was a police officer in this situation, I'd be like, get out of the car. Do a backflip. If you cannot do a backflip, arrested. DUI. Jail. Now that the suspect hasn't started yet, it started after she tried to bribe the officer. And the officer said, no, it is the ultimate disrespect towards her. That's how she felt. And she just went on a rant on just making the guy's life, the officer's life dif difficult that night. How much have you had a drink tonight? Can we, can we work this out? That's what I'm trying all? to do. Excuse me? No, I'm just... You look hot. Like, I know... I... She's clearly, clearly... She's clearly... What the fuck? She's clearly... She's clearly... She's... She's clearly, what the fuck? She's clearly 50-50 about the point that does she want to get out of this situation by giving this guy a sloppy toppy? You look hot. Can she get away with it? But she's 50-50 about it. Funny part is she thought because she's a woman and men enjoy compliments. She was like, wait, if I compliment him, maybe he'll be in a happy mood and he will let me get away with it. Even though I am drunk and I, I am, you know capable of killing people if i was a girl personally in this situation and i was single i would have been like look officer can you turn off your cam i'm about to tell you a secret the officer is like "Ooh, what kind of secret are you going to tell me obviously he will turn off his camera so there will be no evidence of this whatsoever and when he starts coming towards me i'll be like i will suck your soul out of your body i will not call him an asshole afterwards you know call him asshole call him hot call him ugly call him cute that's just complicating things. The guy is getting mixed feelings. You got to be straightforward with what you want. I, I Honestly, I would say if I was in her situation, I would have got away with it very easily. I need you to sit down, Vanessa. Can I break this? If you break that, that's going to be another charge. How much? It clearly looks like she's going through a lot in her life, but it definitely does not excuse her actions toward the officers. She made a whole scene in the car. I'm going to skip all of that, and we're going to go straight to the station where the real action happened. All right, 
So that was, you did not need to spit at me? I did. I need you to face Ugh. that. Ugh, force me, force me. Take me to jail, take me to jail. Take me, right now. She spit, she spit, she spit. So that's gonna be an extra charge. I know. Okay. Take it. Two, because you did take kick it. me too. Thank you. Oh, I kicked you? I oh. On camera. Take me! I just want you to take me so yeah. bad. Every second of this video, things are getting worse and worse for her. It's just getting embarrassing for her. And she th she's at a point where she doesn't really care anymore. She She's like, oh, take me. Take me to jail. I don't, give, I don't care about my life anymore. But one thing I will guarantee you, the next morning she wakes up, she is going to be... It's going to hit her all at once. Or maybe she she just wake up, she'll be all confused, and then they're going to show her the footage. You spat on the police officer like multiple times, and you kicked them multiple times, and you said these kind of words. I want to see her reaction, honestly. Uh... Vanessa, put your shirt on, please. <laughs> Vanessa, if you don't do that, I'm going to put you back on handcuffs on the bench, okay? I don't want to do that. I want you to use the bathroom. It's so hard. I also want to point out the officer in this video, the level of patience he has. This is a true professional right here, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, because if someone spits in my face, I don't care what profession they have, they are eating my fist. I don't think there's anything more disrespectful than if someone spits in your face. And the fact that not most officers are usually this calm, this really, you know, makes me want to applause to him and for doing his job correctly, following, I'm guessing he has experience with these things, but officers in the US, bro, you pick out a toothpick, they are going to shoot you. She's lucky if it was another officer who was in a bad mood or it was just a bad officer and she starts kicking and she spits on his face and they all start taking a gun out. She's reaching! Ta -ta 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 -ta. Officer med medical facility, including several blood, bleeding wounds, distorted extremities and injuries that re require the injured party to be carried from the scene. Uh, like if you submit it to the chemical test, disclosing an alcohol thing. concentration of 0 0.08 or more, I, I, have a seat. I, I, I don't fucking understand. Lock me up or don't fucking lock me up. In the back. Lock her up or don't fucking lock her up. Like, fucking lock me up or don't fucking lock me up. Yeah, yeah, fucking this shit. Oh, yeah. It's hot. They had to put up a mask for her for her to stop spitting. I also don't think it is only alcohol. I feel like they went out. They had like a whole, you know, rough week at work. So they were like, you know what? There's this new drug that it's out in the market called like Riz 69 or something, which is going to turn you so sexual. Oh, there you go. oh, thank you, baby. And they took some sort of drug and now they're acting this way. Or maybe, and at the same time, they mixed it with alcohol, which made things worse. So you're, you're willing to answer questions? Of course, baby. And do additional tests? Oh, of course, my amor. Sabes que? O sea, eres, o sea, eres hermoso. Pero matame, rápido. Rápido. Is that comfortable? Fuck you, you fucking piece of around. shit. I hope you fucking rot in hell, you fucking. Okay, it gets funny at this point. She's so disrespectful and she has like so many mood swings where I would say it's like that movie from Split, that movie from Glass, where she has multiple personality disorders. One is a horny 21-year-old. The other is a disrespectful 44-year-old mother who has like three kids and who's tired of life. That's when the video ends. She was taken to a hospital and after she was released from the hospital, she got charged with the DUI, failed to put signals when turning, aggravated assault. And her last charge was because she resisted her uh, arrest, basically. 
it's really sad at the same time when you think about her situation i'm not saying it excuses her actions because many people they're going through a lot in their life but they don't act like this but this is what alcohol does to you this is what when you drink too much and you take a sex pill or, or something this is what comes out she definitely woke up the next day and she saw the video there's no update on how long she got sentenced for but i'm assuming it has to be like between one to five years at least and if the judge was too kind he's gonna let her get away with a couple hundreds of hours of community service but this was definitely a reality check for her so what did we learn from this video first of all if you're muslim haram don't drink but if you drink and you know you you drink on occasional basis or weekly basis whatever there's a limit overdoing anything is bad for you it doesn't matter if it's healthy unhealthy overdoing it it's bad do not over drink just drink to a point where you'll be a little bit tipsy you will enjoy the night not to a point where you'll end up in the bathroom all puking and you're gonna be all over the place or worse you're gonna end up like this chick over here i hope she gets the help she needs and i'll catch you at the next one